everybody, this is Ali Neander speaking to you from Guitar Point, Vintage Guitars in Maintal, Germany. This is a 1977 Gibson Les Paul custom that looks unfamiliar. It has a maple fingerboard, it has a maple neck and a maple fingerboard, so it's not like your usual Les Paul mahogany body, of course. Um, so, normal wisdom would say, don't touch this, can't touch this, no, but Actually, this is a beautiful guitar. First of all, it's almost mint. But normally, I would say, like a mint guitar, there's always something suspicious about it. Did people like it? Did, why did they play it? I don't know. It's, even the gold plating and everything is, looks pristine, so it's probably been sitting somewhere and waiting for somebody to play it because, and that's the surprise, it sounds great. It, it has, you know, sometimes um, these, the, these customs, of course, with maple, necks and ebony fingerboards and we all know that it's the zach wild so to say custom but this is a little bit in the same ballpark and it feels good and it's not harsh or mid-range at all it's pr it actually is pretty gutsy <laughs> of course you hear the maple thing you know that's it's kind of more in your face but <coughs> but since if you play with a lot of distortion Sometimes these guitars work better with high gain amplifiers because they have this element of cutting through in a very distorted surrounding. And that sometimes works better than a Les Paul standard. So consider this. I mean, it's, it looks pretty cool actually. And it feels, of course, it feels a little bit like a maple neck strap, you know, from playing wise. But the shape of the necks, of course, is typical Les Paul. And the whole thing is a Les Paul. It's not too heavy, it's, it has very good weight. And um, try it out. It might be something, uh, it might be a surprise for you. It's a 1977 Les Paul custom maple neck, maple fingerboard, and natural is the color. And this is Ali Neander from Guitar Point Vintage Guitars in Montel, Germany. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>